Hello Year 4, welcome back to day 3. Um, I'm going to start by going through the answers from yesterday. Um, so, question number 1. Um, Mikey has bit a, sorry, Mikey has taken a bite of the chocolate bar. Um, the chocolate bar was a rectangle. Can you work out how many squares of chocolate there were to start with? Okay, so he started, or the bar of chocolate started with 20 squares, okay? Um, and the way that you could have just worked that out is just by drawing, okay, the parts that are missing, okay? There you go. And then if we added that up, there would then be 20 squares. Um, question number two. Two children have measured the top of their desk. They use different size squares. Nina said the area of the tabletop is seven squares and Jen has said the area of the tabletop is is 12 squares. Who used the bigger squares? How do you know? Okay, um, so hopefully you notice that Nina was the one. Okay, um, so for my reasoning, I would say Nina because she needed fewer squares to cover the space. So her squares must have been bigger. Okay, because if she used less, then it obviously shows that those squares were bigger. Um, question number three, shape C has been deleted. Um, its area is bigger than B's, but smaller than D's. Can you draw what shape C could look like? Um, so the first thing you would have needed to have done is worked out the area for B and D so that you could draw the shape for C. Okay, so hopefully you notice that shape B has an area of 18 um, square units and shape D has an area of 21 square units. Okay, so then the shape that you drew for shape C, okay, so shape C then needed to have an area of either 19 or 20 square units. And obviously the shapes that you have drawn will probably look different to everybody else's. Um, so as long as your shape that you've drawn has um, an area of 19 or 20 square units, then you've got that correct. Um, finally, question number four, um, you were told to look at the shapes. Can you spot the pattern and explain how the area is changing each time? Draw the next shape. What is its area? Can you predict what the area of the sixth shape would be? Can you spot any patterns in your answers? So this is one of those problems where there's lots of questions and lots of steps that we need to follow. But the important thing is to remember just to start with step one. OK, so look at the shapes. Can you spot the pattern and explain how the area is changing each time? Um, so here I've got an area of three square units. Then I've got an area of five square units. Then I've got an area of um, four, five, six, seven square units. OK, so then looking. OK, can I spot a pattern? Yes, it seems to be going up in twos. OK, which is then going to help me for this next part. Draw the next shape. What is its area? Hopefully you then notice that the area would be nine square units. OK, um, I'm not going to draw the shape, but the shape would just need to have nine square units. Um, could we then use that to predict what the area of the sixth shape would be? OK, so if I know that the fourth shape had an area of nine square units, I then know that the fifth shape, if I add on two again, would have 11 square units, which means that the sixth shape would then have an area of 13 square units. OK, can you spot any patterns in your answers? OK, so we've already spotted that they're going up in twos. Um, Maybe something else you noticed was that all of the areas, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and 13, are all odd. Okay, well done if you got those correct. Right, today we're going to be learning to find the area of shapes in square centimetres and metres. Um, the term square centimetre, um, which can also be written like this, is a unit of measurement. Um, so yesterday and the day before, we were counting the square tiles to work out the area. Um, but today we're going to be using the unit of measurement um, square centimetres. OK, so if we have a look at the shape that I've got here, um, this is a one centimetre square. 
Um, so each side of the square is one centimetre long, which means, and the area of this shape here, it has an area of one square centimetre, okay, which can also be written just one and then the cm squared bit here, okay. This is a two centimetre square, okay, because each side measures two centimetres. So this top side is two centimetres, this side, this side, and this side. So it's a two centimetre square, okay, um, and it's made up of four one centimetre squares. So the area of this is four square centimetres, okay. This shape here is a three centimetre square. Each side measures three centimetres. Um, it's made up of nine one centimetre squares, meaning that the area is nine square centimetres. Okay, final one that we're going to look at together um, is this one. Okay, so this is a five centimetre square. Each side measures five centimetres um, and it's made up of 25 one centimetre squares, which means that the area is 25 square centimetres. Okay, right, I'm going to get you to have a go now. So I'd like you in a moment to pause the video, okay, have a look at these three shapes, okay, and see if you can tell me what the area is in square centimetres. Okay, let's see if you got them right. So the first shape, okay, is six square centimetres. The orange shape, the second shape, is also six square centimetres. And then finally, the last green shape is seven square centimetres. Okay, so I'm hoping you got those correct. Okay, so the problems that we, or the shape, sorry, that we were looking at a moment ago were um, measured in centimetres, okay? We can also measure area in metres, okay? So here on the floor is an example of a one metre square. So each side of the square measures one metre. So its area is one square metre, okay? Um, obviously, all of the shapes um, that we're going to be looking at today and in the future um, they can't all be measured exactly um, due to the size. Um, so we're going to have a look at um, some more shapes together now um, where the shapes are not drawn to scale. Okay, so these three shapes, okay, um, we're, we're going to have a look at the area now. Um, it's important to note that one square e is um, equal to one metre, okay, obviously they are not drawn to scale. Okay, so if we look at the area of shape A, okay, um, there is four squares, so the area would be four square metres, okay? Um, shape B, I've got some half squares, okay? And it's going to be important to remember that two halves um, equal a whole. And so two halves will be the same as one metre, okay? So the area for shape B is two square metres, okay? And then finally, shape three, okay, or shape C, sorry, when we add up that, okay, that is also four square metres, okay. Um, so today I'm going to be setting you um, two questions to complete. Um, you can find a copy of this on the learning PowerPoint and I will then go through the answers tomorrow. Two days, day three, we went in five. I think today this is a rock challenge costume that we're that we're going for. Um, so here are your five questions: A, thirty-four times eight; B, eighty-four divided by three; C, one fifth add eleven fifths; and D, uh, two times two times three; and then E, twelve times nine. Give yourself five minutes, and then come back and check your answers. So A, we've got thirty-four times eight. Our product is 272. B, 84 divided by 3. 
is 28. C, um, again we've got the same denominators, add our numerators, so we've got 12 fifths. You may also have got the answer 2 and 2 fifths, which would also have been right. And then 2 times 2 times 3 is 12, and then E, 12 times 9 is 108. Um, we are just going to work through B together. Um, I think that's the only one we're going to do from today's lesson. So 84 divided by 3. So I've got 8 tens um, divided into 3 equal groups. So I can divide 6 tens equally, giving myself 2 in each group, because 2 times 3 is given 6. And I've got 2 remaining, bringing down my 4 ones. So now I've got 24 ones in total. Um, I can use all 24 ones, giving myself 8 in a group, so I know 3 times 8 is 24, with a remainder of 0. Um, I hope you had fun today, please come back tomorrow for day 4.